Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. The book is The Recruiter Guy's Guide to Finding a Job. The author is Recruiter Guy, Bill Humbert. Welcome. Welcome, Joe. Good to have you in the show this morning. Thank you. On a motivational Monday. Motivational. There we go. So, uh, motivation to hire the right people. Getting uh, top talent. That's what this is all about today. That's what it's all about. Getting yeah. and keeping top talent. Yeah. Now, key to keeping top talent oftentimes is making sure that, uh, that they know what they're expected to do. That's correct. Right. Yep. Yeah, if they don't know what they're expected to do, there's no way that they're going to be able to do that. It's pretty simple. Right? Yeah, yeah. very simple. Yeah. Uh, but the, pl the, the plan to get there isn't always as simple. you got to kind of plan ahead, which we tend to not do often. Uh, we see people in the business world kind of putting out fires instead of uh, getting ahead of it and making sure we don't get a fire to begin with. That's right. Well, you know, and, and the premise is what is the importance of one person in right? a company. What is the importance of one person? One person can make a pretty big impact, right? That's right. So think about this. In 1976, two guys got together and they formed a company. Now, that company did pretty well the first nine years. Yeah. They actually managed to penetrate the education market. On September 16th, 1985, mm -hmm. one of those people left. Twelve years later, when Apple Corporation was going into bankruptcy, Steve Jobs returned on September 16, 1997. What happened since then? Yeah. iPhones, iTunes, iWatch, iPad. That's the and importance of, of dollars. That's right. That's the importance of one person. Yeah. Now the largest, arguably the largest recognized corporation in the world. Yep. Pretty amazing. Yep. Pretty amazing. Okay. So that's, that's one guy. What else you got? Locally, Cash Valley Electric, largest electrical contractor in Utah, 29th nationally. And one of the largest in the West by far. Yes. Eric Ward started as an apprentice electrician there 30 years ago. He's a division manager today. He's making impacts for the company every single day. That's the importance of keeping the good people. Mm. All right, so how, uh, I'm kind of curious how that, a person like that makes like an impact. What, 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 what do you think is the, the thing we should be looking for in somebody like that, by the way, to well, find someone like that? You know, to find somebody like that, the first thing you have to do is get the job description right. Okay. Okay. If it's you, part of the process. It's of part of the this, process. Four, four step process. Right. So if you get, if you don't get the job description right, what happens? You source a pool of the wrong people. Hmm. Then out of that pool of the wrong people, you interview a pool of the wrong people. Mm -hmm. And you hire the wrong person. You hire the wrong person, and then three months to two years later, you fire the right person. <laughs> That's how important. Just the job description, which a lot of people blow past. Wow. OK. So pretty key to get that part right. This is right at that first step. You need to get that right. Job description has got to be what you expect that person to do. Exactly. All right. So what about, uh, you know, like who's, I guess the, the good question here is whose fault's that? It's a company's fault. The company's fault, straight yeah. up, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, they, they need to interview or teach interviewing techniques to their hiring managers. Because if their hiring manager has not been taught how to interview effectively, they certainly haven't been taught how to select the best qualified candidate. All right. Let's talk about the interview for a minute. This is the other part of those four steps. Tell me about that. Well, you know, when you're interviewing, it's important to take that job description that you've now gotten right. And interview around it. And interview around it. Ask questions based on that job description. Okay. So we kind of hone in on whether we got the right person. Now, onboarding becomes important here, too, because, again, we're setting some expectations. You're setting expectations, but in addition to that, what's happening is that's the person's first day mm -hmm. in your company. What kind of impression are you making? Is it, oh, here, sign all these forms, get to work? Or does an executive come in and say, this is how important your job is? You know, and a great example is local, um, Deer Valley Ski Resort. Okay. How important is a $10 an hour job? Think of basket check where people come in in their street shoes, they have their ski boots, 
they will put their street shoes in a basket to store, right. and then at the end of the day, they'll come back, retrieve their, their street shoes, put their ski boots in. That person who's working that window is working with a guest and making an impression with that guest once, twice, and then sometimes during the day. How important is that to Deer Valley or any ski resort? It's very important. Okay. Then we have uh, the next step, which is uh, retaining that person. So right. step four of the process. What are we doing here? Okay, so think, go back to Steve Jobs. Okay. Okay. Steve Jobs was one of the founders of Apple. He left for 12 years. What happened? They didn't retain him, right? Yeah. They had an argument. And then he came back. Let him go. That's right. He came back and look at the impacts he made. If a person isn't retained in your company, they're not going to make the impacts in your company, but they may go over to a competitor and make the impacts Might over just there. kill you. Might just, it might just drive a nail in your coffin. Exactly. Wow. Yep. That's kind of key. It is key. Oh, boy. So retention is very important. And part of the way of keeping people is to communicate with them and let them know what the expectations are. But more importantly, let them know how important that job is to the company, the job that they're doing. OK, excellent. So good communication. That's what we were talking about here. Yeah. Yeah. Expectations where they need to be, then uh, matching those expectations up to the right person, making sure that they're going to meet them. And then and recognizing, right, recognizing them when they meet them. Yeah. Give them that recognition. I got to tell you, honestly, I've been to, a, you know, I mean, obviously, worked for a lot of places uh, over the years. I, there's any number of them where I wish they'd have said, we're so glad you're here. Now let me tell you what we're expecting you to do. Right. <laughs> that would have been great. It would have been, because now you know what the track is that you need to run. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no confusion there. That would uh, be nice. Yeah. All right, so some key things, but again, they're kind of simple. Uh, many of these ideas and others found here. Now, the new book's coming out relatively soon, right? Yeah, it's actually on corporate recruiting. Okay. Make your company Perfect. roar. Yeah. Recruit, onboard, and retain. So all about this, and uh, we're going to talk way mm -hmm. more about it once that uh, is uh, available. Yep. Of course, you can find this book. Amazon. Over Amazon. Kindle. Uh, yep. yep. All right. As always, we appreciate you being here. It's a Recruiter Guy's Guide to Finding a Job, and it's Recruiter Guy Bill Humbert who's telling you how to keep those great employees. So make sure, one, you find the right ones, and when you do, you better hold on to them like grim death. we got a lot more coming up here on the Mounted Morning Show right after this.